Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rashad Scales. Um, in this video, guys, I just want to really share my testimony of how God delivered me from the party life. And yeah, I just want to get into it. So I remember before going to college, I told myself that I wasn't going to party. I wasn't going to drink. I wasn't going to worry about women. But little do you know, uh, the first night we came to college, we got invited to a party. And man, I'm not gonna lie, I fell in love with the lifestyle. I fell in love with it. I, uh, I became addicted to alcohol. I loved alcohol. I loved drinking from Thursday uh, to Saturday. I got involved in a fraternity. And, and that's just when everything started to go downhill. And um, what I wanna emphasize is this, you know, this really took my focus off of my academics. It really took my focus off of what really uh, was important, why I came to college, which is to get an education, but my mind was focused on women. My mind was focused on who I was going to meet at the party um, come Thursday night. And this was Monday, guys. And um, yeah, I would party from Thursday to Saturday and get drunk from Thursday to Saturday. And, you know, I, I loved the lifestyle. I, I just, I looked forward to it. It, it was it was just where my heart was at. I didn't care about school. Well, I did care about school, but you know, really academics wasn't really on my mind. I was just so caught up in that lifestyle. And um, you know, I found myself doing things that I didn't want to do and doing things that I regretted. I mean, man, I have videos and stuff that I look back on and like, man, that, that was me. Um, but glory be to Jesus Christ who, who changed me, who changed my heart and uh, during that life style I was living, man, I was just empty. I was really searching for something that only Jesus could give me. I was just searching in the wrong places. You know, I mean, I would go into parties and I'd I'd pretend that I was having fun, right? I'd hold I'd hold that red solo cup, you know, and, and just go with the music, go with my friends. But deep down inside, I knew I knew that this wasn't fun. I knew that I was called to something more. I knew that this wasn't what life was about. You know, yeah, I'd be I'd be getting it, you know, in, in the dance circle. I'd be, you know. I uh, just like focused on who I was gonna like hook up with. I'd see a pretty woman um, in the corner and I just like give her that look and it, it just was nonstop guys. This was nonstop from Thursday to Saturday. Every weekend I was repeating myself. It was just caught up in this spiral and I was just so lost. I was so lost. I was searching and I remember me and my twin brother just going back to our dorms at times asking ourselves like, what are we doing? What are we doing? And like, I remember, um, when we literally told ourselves that we were gonna stop going out because this is just nonsense. I, I mean, I'm, I remember when we would get sick because we didn't find a girl that night to, to meet up with. Like, man, like you see where our minds were at? We were searching for uh, satisfaction, fulfillment in other people and women and, and, and partying at a bar and alcohol and a bottle. And I'm here to tell you that you're not gonna find peace. You're not gonna find satisfaction in a bottle. You're not gonna find peace. You're not gonna find joy at a party in that lifestyle. Why? Because I've lived it. I've been there. And I wanna share my testimony to you guys of what Jesus Christ has done. Many people know how me and my twin brother were. We were so caught up in that lifestyle. But Jesus Christ came in and he changed this heart. He gave us new desires. I mean, it just, I didn't even do anything. It's by grace. It just stripped off, you know, when I encountered the living God. You know, Jesus is living water. And outside of him, nothing will ever satisfy us. He's the bread of life. He is the bread of life. And that's something I'm able to see now. Like that sinful lifestyle I was living was really ultimately bringing me down a path of destruction. And that's the enemy's goal. That's his goal, is to deceive you to think that sin is what you want, but it's not, guys. Sin is pleasing for a moment, it's pleasing for a season, but in the end it leads to destruction. And what Jesus Christ came to this earth to do is to die for our sins, to set us free. To set us free so that we could experience that abundant life that he wants to give us. It's all about changing our, 
our view on sin. A lot of people think that, oh, God just doesn't want me to have fun. No, God is the creator of the universe. He knows how this thing works. He knows what you're really searching for, and it's Jesus Christ. We all have this void in us, right? That we all try to fill with things of this earth and it just doesn't work. Only Jesus Christ can fill that. We were all created to worship God. We're all worshiping something, but we're all created to worship God. And unless we're worshiping God, guys, we're always going to fill that emptiness inside of us, that, that longing for more. Jesus Christ, He is hope, He is joy, He is peace, He's everything. And that is the main reason why I'm able to stand firm in these times, because I know in my heart that Jesus Christ is real and He's coming back. And He is the only way, the truth, the life. He is the way. He is the bread of life. I mean, He's the only one that can satisfy us, that can complete us, that can change us. A lot of us are trying to change on our own, but only Jesus Christ can truly change us. Change comes from within. Anybody can change outwardly, but while they're doing certain things, their heart can be totally far from God. And that's what Jesus wants to do is change our hearts towards everything, change our perspectives. And that's what he did with me, my perspective on life. Man, I used to think life was about partying, hooking up, going to a bar. I remember when I had dreams of moving to Miami to go clubbing, to, to, to buy fancy exotic cars and to, to meet different women. And that was just my mindset. But Christ came in and he destroyed all that. And that light, that light opened up my eyes to see what life is really about. This life is short, but eternity is long. And we never know when our last day could be. So I want to encourage you guys to trust in Jesus Christ. Turn to him. Are you weary? Are you tired? Come to Jesus Christ. So guys, that, that was my testimony of how God really uh, uh, delivered me from that lifestyle of partying, that lifestyle of, of drinking and getting drunk nonstop. It was playing a huge toll on my body, on my energy. It was destroying my mind, relationships, because I was not focused on what I was supposed to be focused on. And that's, and here's the thing, many of you might be watching this video and you can relate to me. You want to stop, but you can't. That's the thing. Only Jesus can give us that strength, that power, that power, that true power to break free from that bondage. That's why he came to die, to set us free from this sinful world, to set us free from our sins that ultimately bring ruin and destruction into every area of our lives. So I love you guys and I pray and hope that this video encouraged you. I pray that it blessed you greatly. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.